Hello guys, welcome back to Fresh OB. So in today's video, we will be talking about a latest off-campus placement opportunity by Cognizant. So in this video, we will be discussing about all the things one should know so that you can apply for this opportunity without any mistake and uh, we will be discussing about all the things such as the eligibility criteria for this opportunity, how the selection process and what are the educational qualifications required and what are the CTC they are offering, what kind of role they are offering and uh, we will also discuss about the location and all. So please I request you all to not skip the video in between and watch the video till the end so that you can get a complete idea. I will also show how one can fill the actual registration form for the same so that you won't make any kind of mistake while filling the actual registration form. So please watch the video till the end. and. Uh, if you are new to the channel then please let me tell you about FreshRB. So in FreshRB I upload videos regarding various off-campus placement opportunities by various MNCs and uh, videos regarding the recruitment process about the tips and tricks for the interview preparation. So I make these kind of videos on a regular basis on FreshRB. So if you are new then please I request you to subscribe to FreshRB so that you can get all the latest updates regarding such videos and uh, without making any further delay let's move forward with the today's video that is about cognizant off-campus opportunity so as you can see on your screen right now so this is the official careers page of cognizant so I will provide this link in the description box of the video so Cognizant is hiring for the position of a developer and the compensation they are offering is uh, from like 4 to 4.5 LPA and uh, next they have mentioned here about the job description so we'll go through all the points one by one in the job description so very firstly they have mentioned understand business requirements raise clarifications create understanding documents and uh, next one is understand the agile application development environment and deliverable due and follow the cycle third one is provide inputs to create low level design for multiple components and fourth one is develop maintain test debug and deploy code as per the requirement specifications understand the data requirements and develop test scenarios identify the prioritize tasks to meet deadlines proactively addressing issues and mitigating points of failure and uh, next they have given three more points like continuously upskill reskill and cross skill to scale up to new technologies possess excellent return and communication skills ability to work coherently in a team so these are the things a lot of points they have mentioned here in the job description so i already mentioned the link in the description box of the video so if you are willing to read this job description once again you can just simply go there and uh, read all this information so next they have mentioned the last date to fill the application form for this drive so the last date is 11th of june till 11 59 pm so as you know today is 5th of june so we almost have six more days so just don't wait for the last day if you are willing to apply and you if you are an eligible candidate for this opportunity you should apply asap and uh, Next, we'll see the eligibility criteria. So here they have mentioned the eligibility criteria. So we'll go through all the points they have mentioned in the eligibility criteria one by one. So very first point is all the 2021 batch students of uh, the graduation like B, BTEC, ME, MTech, MCA and MS Software Engineering, five year integrated course degree students only. So so this is the very first eligibility criteria they have mentioned here and uh, next one is consistent academic record of a minimum of 60 percent in 10 12th diploma undergraduation and post graduation so you should have a minimum score of 60 percent in your 10 12th diploma and undergraduation or post graduation so this is the second eligibility criteria third one is no standing arrears in current education like there should not be any kind of backlogs in the current education and max two year of gap in your education is eligible fourth one is 
एट द टाइम ऑफ जॉइनिंग ऑल रिक्रूट नीड टू हैव अ मिनिमम सिक्सटी परसेंट अग्रीगेट ऑल सब्जेक्ट विल बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन इन द पर्सिंग डिग्री विथ नो स्टैंडिंग अरियर्स सो हियर दे हैव मैंशन वन सेकेंड दैट वेल द टाइम ऑफ जॉइनिंग यू शुड हैव अ मिनिमम स्कोर ऑफ सिक्सटी परसेंट इन योर परसुइंग डिग्री विदाउट एनी एक्टिव बैकलॉग सो दिस सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो नेक्स्ट वन इज स्टूडेंट अप्लाइड फॉर री इवेल्युएशन एंड वेटिंग फॉर द रिजल्ट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड विद द इनिशियल रिजल्ट स्कोर डिक्लेयर्ड एंड अप्रोप्रिएट सी जी पी ए टू परसेंटेज कन्वर्जन टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज पर द यूनिवर्सिटी नॉर्म्स स्ट्रॉग रिटर्न एंड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स आई एक्सपेक्टेड एंड ओपन ओनली टू इंडियन नेशनल स्टूडेंट्स फ्लेक्सिबल टू रिलोकेट टू एनी वेर इन इंडिया वर्क इन एनी शिफ्ट स्लैश डोमेन सो दीज आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया दे हाव मैंशन हियर सो नेक्स्ट वील गो थ्रू इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द स्टूडेंट्स सो हियर दे हाव मैंशन द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स सो वील गो थ्रू ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स वन बाय वन सो वेरी फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज रिक्वेस्ट द एलिजिबल स्टूडेंट्स टू अपीयर फॉर कॉग्निजन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन बैच कैंपस सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस नेक्स्ट वन इज द कॉग्निजन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स जेंसी प्रोग्राम टीम विल एक्सट्रैक्ट द रजिस्टर्ड स्टूडेंट्स डेटा बेस फ्रॉम द पोर्टल शॉर्ट लिस्ट एंड एलिजिबल स्टूडेंट्स एंड शेयर द टेस्लिंग सो वंस यू अप्लाई फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो द जेंसी प्रोग्राम टीम विल एक्सट्रैक्ट द एलिजिबल कैंडिडेट्स बाय फिल्टरिंग दैम and after that they'll share the all the further details through link to all the shortlisted students and next one is request the placement officer to guide only the eligible students to register next one is 2021 graduates who have already applied or appeared for cognizant jency campus recruitment drive in 2020 shall not be eligible for this campus recruitment drive and the student must upload their cv with embedded photograph all academic documents including school certificates and college semester mark sheets government id proof scanned as one pdf file during test registration mandatory process to appear for the test so just make sure of this point that you have to uh, make a kind of a pdf file for all the documents like your academic documents your school certificates your college semester marks and then you have to upload that uh, pdf file next one is student should have soft copies of the below mentioned documents ready to be shared during online interview so what are the documents you should have during the online interview so these are like your cv max two pages with high resolution passport size photographs embedded both ears must be visible with light background and uh, next one is all academic mark sheets and certificates for verification your aadhar card passport front and back page and your pan card if available so these are the mandatory things you should carry during the online interview so next we'll see the actual jency developer selection process so the very first round they conduct is of a aptitude so those who clear the aptitude test and who are eligible like uh, who fit in all the eligibility criteria which are already discussed by uh, me in the previous video so those who met with all the eligibility criteria and uh, who clear the aptitude test will be directly shortlisted for the round 2 that is uh, of jency interview so it will be included like technical cognitive abilities and the right attitude so these are the things they can ask you in the interviews and uh, those who clear the interview of the jency will be offered a ctc of 4.5 lpa and uh, during the initial training phase that they'll offer you a ctc of like 4.01986 as you can see on your screen right now so after that post your proposition they will give you an offer of 4.5 lpa and uh, next they have given like uh, before joining cognizant recommended skill certifications you should do like they'll give you all the details regarding the same once you are finally selected for this opportunity so they will mail you all the details like which certifications you have to complete and all and uh, with these certifications you should have your college graduation score like a minimum score of 60% is mandatory required for your initial process
सो नाउ विल सी हाउ वन कैन एक्चुअली फील द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म एंड अप्लाई फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी बाई कॉग्निजेंट सो यू हैव टू सिंपली क्लिक योर ऑन द अप्लाई नाउ बटन सो वंस यू क्लिक ऑन दैट अप्लाई नाउ यू विल बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू अ नेक्स्ट पेज सो यू विल बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू अ पेज लाइक दिस सो एज हियर यू कैन सी जेन सी डेवलपर कॉग्निजेंट इज हायरिंग लाइक फॉर पैन इंडिया सो दिस इज अ फुल टाइम अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड अप्लीकेशन डेडलाइन इज ऑफ ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जून टिल ट्वेल्व ए एम सो दिस इज द लास्ट डेट टू फील दिस रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म सो हियर यू कैन सी इन जॉब ओवर व्यू दे हैव गिव सो दे आर ऑफरिंग अ सी टी सी ऑफ फोर टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव एल पी ए एंड हियर दे हैव गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो जस्ट क्लिक हियर ऑन द अप्लाई नाउ सो आफ्टर क्लिकिंग हियर यू हैव टू जस्ट एंटर योर ई मेल आई डी हियर सो इफ यू ऑलरेडी हैव एन अकाउंट ऑन सुपर सेट दैन जस्ट सिंपली लॉग इन इन टू योर अकाउंट एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव एन अकाउंट ऑन सुपर सेट दैन यू विल हैव टू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट देयर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली लॉग इन सो आफ्टर लॉगिंग इन यू सी अ पेज लाइक दिस विच यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट नाउ सो हियर यू हैव टू मैंशन ऑल द थिंग्स लाइक देर आर अ नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स यू हैव टू फील सो विल गो थ्रू ऑल दिस थिंग्स वन बाय वन सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल द थिंग्स प्लीज स्टेट ट्यून एंड लाइक हियर यू कैन सी यू हैव टू मैंशन योर फुल नेम लाइक फर्स्ट नेम मिडल नेम लास्ट नेम then you have to enter your date of birth so after that you have to fill your gender your college name so after that you have to mention your primary email address you have to confirm your primary email id then you have to mention your personal email id and uh, you have to mention your mobile number after that you have to just create a password here and retype that password and just click on the i agree with all the terms and conditions and click the captcha here and after that you have to simply click on save and next so after filling all the basic details just click on save and next and you can see your page like this so here here you have to mention all the contact details like uh, you can see very firstly you have to just verify your email ids like the primary email id you have mentioned you have to verify and after that you have to verify the personal id you have mentioned here so after that just fill your permanent address your current address and your pay placement details uh in placement details you have to mention the career plans you have like uh, if you are planning to do higher education so preparing for civil services and all so based on your choice you can fill any of the thing here and next you have to attach your cv and after filling all this information just you can simply click on save and next the contact details you have to mention all the things related to your current slash most recent education so here you can see like uh, you have to choose an option like uh, i am currently pursuing an education and have an uh, received like uh, you have to choose an option like i am currently pursuing an education and have not received my degree or i have completed my education so between these two you can select any one and you have to mention the program you are enrolled in and your major or branch and your batch which which batch student are you and uh, after that you have to mention the course start date and course end date and then you have to mention your institute roll number and uh, if you have any kind of backlog then you have to just mention here if you have then just tick uh, if you don't have then there isn't any need to take this mark here and after that simply click on save and next so after the current and most recent education you have to fill details about your class 12th or equivalent degree details so as you can see you have to mention your program degree certificate that is class 12th and you have to mention your school name then which board you did your 12th from like here you can see cbse icse or state board 
and uh, what was your education type and your 12th score after that your branch slash specialization in 12th and uh, what was the duration and after that you have to mention all the 10th details like uh, your 10th your school name your board your education type what was your score in 10th and the duration so just simply fill all this information correctly and uh, just click here on the save and next after previous education you have to mention details regarding the internships and work experiences so if you have any kind of in, uh, work experience slash you have done any kind of internship so you have to mention all the details regarding the same in this section so you have to simply just uh, type here the work experience slash internship you have done and uh, you have to just simply click on save and next and if you don't have then just just tick here on this thing like i have not completed any internship and i do not have any prior work experience so just simply click here if you don't have any kind of work experience and just click on save and next and work experience details the next section is of a profile photo and documents so as you can see you have to just upload a photo of yourself for the profile photo and just uh, simply click on the save and next so next we have to simply answer some questions they have asked here questions like very first question is you have to type your Aadhaar number then your nationality choose the area which is closest to your skill set like here they have mentioned a lot of uh, technologies you have to just mention any one of them then how did you acquire skills in the option selected above so like you uh, have self-learned learning platform vendor program so you have to mention any of the thing and select the programming language where you have most expertise and uh, what is your skill level in programming language one that you have selected and select the programming language where you have most expertise pl2 and uh, what is your skill level in programming language 2 and what is your skill level in database concept select dbms tool known what is your proficiency level in dbms selected and uh, select tech area of your live real project select tech area of your top external certification what kind of certification it is and uh, as a future it professional in cognizant are you flexible towards work location technology track domain and work timings so you have to simply click or yes or no and once you are done with all these things just click here on the submit here so after clicking on submit they'll give a kind of a disclaimer here just go through all this information and finally click on agree and apply so in this way you can apply for this opportunity by cognizant so we have discussed all the things such as the criteria the qualifications we also saw how one can actually fill the registration form so, so i hope you guys like this video and you got a clear idea over this opportunity like uh, all the things we have discussed about the selection process like what kind of rounds they conduct and what are the eligibility criteria the qualifications the job description and how one can actually fill the form so we saw all these things in the video so please share this video with your fellow friends who are looking for better opportunities and uh, i come up with these kind of offers on a regular basis so if you are new then please subscribe to the fresh hobby and if you came across any type of queries then mention all the queries in the comment section below i will reply to all the queries asap uh, we'll meet in the next video with one more such opportunity thank you